Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate a firm's revenue when we're only given the demand function and the price. With that said, let's get into it. So using just the price and the demand function, we can calculate a firm's revenue. And remember the formula for the firm's revenue is simply price times quantity. Now we have the price given to us right here. The price is equal to $65, so I'm gonna sub it in as revenue is equal to $65 times the quantity. Now, I don't have the quantity given to me, so I actually need to calculate it, but it's not difficult to do. So I'm going to take the $65 that's given to me in the question, and I'm gonna substitute it into the demand function as the p-value. And if I do that, I'm gonna get something that looks like this. Q is equal to 360 minus three times 65. Simplifying further, I get Q is equal to 360 minus 195. And then finally doing the subtraction, I get Q is equal to 165. So this is the quantity of units that will be sold at a price of $65. I now sub this value into my revenue equation. That's going to give me 65 times 165. And finally, my revenue value is $10,725. It's that simple. But what if the firm was to raise the price to $80? What would happen then? Let's take a look. So at $80, my revenue equation would remain unchanged, just P times Q. And in this case, it would be $80 times Q since my new price is $80. I'm still going to take the $80 and substitute it into the demand function, except this time it's going to change my quantity demanded. And it looks like this. Q is equal to 360 minus three times 80. Q is equal to 360 minus 240. And then finally, my new quantity demanded value is 120. If I substitute this into the revenue equation, I get revenue is equal to $80 times 120 units. And that gives me a revenue of $9,600. So let's recap what we've just done. So even though the firm raised their prices from $65 to $80, somehow revenue fell from 10,725 to 9,600. And the question that I'm asking you, the viewer, is why did this happen? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section. Why did raising the price decrease the firm's revenue? I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, comment down below what sort of economic topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.